Welcome back friends. In this video, I uh, will be talking about gene families in very short description because I haven't find any video on gene family in YouTube till now. So this will be a good help for you guys. And so what is gene family? You probably heard this name, gene families and all these things. Now gene families are uh, the representation of all those genes which are originated from one ancestral gene due to the duplication. Let's say let's say here uh, for the explanatory part let's say this is a gene let's say this, this is a part of the gene say gene a and this gene a is present there now due to some reason during the evolutionary pathway the, the ancestral pathway that gene becomes duplicated so now that gene is present twice in that chromosome due to the evolution that is the duplication let me write here it is duplication usually due to duplication we've seen multiple copies of the same gene but now those genes are slightly varying because they are slightly varying in their uh, in their nucleotide sequences and all these things so ultimately it can happen in one chromosome or it may also happen that it give rise to another chromosome and in that chromosome it also have another gene so all these genes as you can see gene number one say two three another color to mark them all these genes as you can see those genes are originated from one parent gene that is this gene a so this is a parent gene ancestral gene and it is duplicated and due to the duplication we have seen multiple copies multiple numbers of those genes they have slight variations in the genetic sequence but ultimately whatever protein they produce are having a kind of similar structure Right? So, if those genes that we are looking at, they produce different proteins, proteins of different type. They, in that case, the proteins will be called as a protein family. Why family? Because in, inside a family, all the members are kind of coming from ancestors, same ancestor. So, that's why it's an ancestral origin of genes, that's why they are called gene families. Ancestral origin of proteins are called as protein families. Let's say here, the example of the gene family in our body is human immuno, uh, in, uh, immunoglobulin family. And also globin family, that is the alpha globin, the hemoglobin family actually, alpha globin and beta globin. These are hemoglobin family. So in this case, this alpha globin and beta globin, though they are different genes now, we know, but they are originated from one gene due to duplication process, right? So if you look at here now, those genes are now present in two different chromosomes. I'm not marking the name of the chromosome. Let's say X and not X, let's say uh, D, C, for example, two different chromosomes they are present or D, let's say D and F. Now those genes are present. In one of them, uh, and both of these cases, we've seen cluster of those genes. Cluster of those genes. Let's say these are alpha, beta. So we see two different chromosomes in our body, and each of the chromosome, ten of those genes are present in two clusters each. Cluster for beta, cluster for alpha. Same things there. So they are present in two different clusters, 10 of the genes in two different chromosomes in our body. That's the example of a gene family. Now if they produce protein, they'll be termed as protein families. So in this case, they're also producing proteins though. Now why these gene families are important? Why are we understanding it? By learning it. The important thing is we know that these gene families, this alpha globin, beta globin, all of them, they originated from a single gene that, that was there in the earlier days. So if we track them back, let's say if we find one gene, let's say alpha globin, and we haven't discussed uh, discovered beta globin yet. So we find a new protein, and we want to find out what kind of structure it is similar with, what kind of amino acid sequence it is similar with. So if it is having a structural similar motif like the alpha globin, very very close relation, then we can think that they can originate from a same ancestor, due to the idea behind this gene family so if you don't have the idea of gene family we cannot track 
new gene or newly developed gene, newly discovered gene, or newly discovered protein. And if we find the protein, we can track it back and compare it with other proteins of extremely high order of similarity to, to find the actual structure and functionality of that protein or gene. It will be very much time saving. If we know that, yes, this is a extremely high conserved, extremely sequence similarity with alpha globin, and we find that, yes, they are bringing to the same, belonging to the same gene family, we know the functionality would be same. So, a lot of time is saved due to this hypothesis. So, that is the idea behind gene families. So, in proteins, if you have multiple proteins, let's say they are originated from a single ancestor, so they are protein families. Now, if you look at those protein families, though their gene sequence are varied a little bit, that's why this alpha globin, beta globin, though the gene sequence vary, but ultimately the whatever protein they produce, the secondary structure of the proteins do not have much variations. So ultimately the functions are same. So the, the individuals, the, the genes or proteins, whatever belonging to the families, they have a similar type of structure, secondary structure in proteins. And we can see that. Though in the evolutionary history they have problems, they have changes in their genetic segment, but they don't have any remarkable changes and any change that could be seen from outside in the protein level and that we can detect, right? So that's why gene families and protein families are important and that's it guys. Keep share this video because this is the first video on gene family in YouTube and watch this video, learn the video, like the video and comment in this video. Thank you.